Hey guys, welcome back to the Elevator Islander YouTube channel. And as you can tell from the title, we are starting a really cool build series here on this channel. So that, again, guys, this is just going to be a series that we're going to do when I have the time to film and when I can throw it together. The idea is to have this truck done by the end of summer. Ideally, that's what Ben would like. So it should be pretty consistent um, and we should be able to get videos out every so often as the build continues on. Of course, we're still gonna continue on with our regular Delica build and that kind of stuff. That's the heart of the channel and that's where we're gonna stay focused. But this is a cool build, guys. I'm excited to help Ben with this and I'm excited to learn um, all about this process because I'm not a mechanic. Uh, so Ben is a mechanic. He's a red sealed mechanic here in Canada and in British Columbia. Uh, he's good at what he does and uh, he's wanted to do this for a really long time. So I'm excited to help him and I'm excited to see this come together for him because it's gonna be really cool. So it's pretty much ready to go guys as far as the build concern. And I wanted to give you a quick rundown and some context what's gonna go into the build uh, so you know what to expect in the future. Let's start talking about the truck. The truck is a 1996 uh, GMT 400 chassis. So it's a Chevy 1500 regular cab short box. It's white uh, and it's really, really clean, man. I actually went with Ben to pick this truck up last year. He got a crazy good deal on it and it's a really good platform. It's a running truck. Of course, we're going to end that today. Uh, the motor that's going to go into the truck, guys, is a 5.3 liter um, LS motor out of a Chevy Avalanche. So Ben's gone ahead and he's disassembled the motor. He's cleaned and honed it. Um, it's going to get stock pistons with new rings, uh, Summit Stage 2 Turbo Cam, LS7 lifters, PAC 1218 valve springs, Brian Tooley Racing Trunnion Kit, ICT Billet Knock Sensor Delete Valley Cover, ICT Billet LS Accessory Dry Bracket Kit, Snake Eater Performance 1000cc Injectors, Aeromotive Fuel Pressure Regulator, uh, guys, it's going to get the stock manifold flipped and V-banded. As far as the transmission goes, guys, it is a 4L80E, and that is coming out of a 2002 Chevy 2500 HD, and that truck was 4x4. So it's been converted to two-wheel drive, guys. It's got the transmission rebuild kit from Jake's Performance. That rebuild kit consisted of all-new bushing, XD Stage 2 frictions, uh, Borg Warner steels, rollerized rear case and front hub, 300mm uh, billet input shaft, internally dual-fed direct clutch, 2-3 uh, to three accumulator delete, Sonics boost valve, the Jay's Performance shift relocation kit, new solenoids, speed sensors, rain switch, internal wiring harness, manifold pressure switch, and a new transmission oil pan and to top that all off, guys. So the turbo this truck's going to get is a VS Racing 44mm 7875. It's going to be paired with the VS Racing 44mm wastegate, VS Racing blow valve, and VS Racing 3-inch intercooler pipe. The rear end that's going to get matched up with this truck is a 14-volt 9.5-inch with factory 373 gearings and govlock, Dutchman Motorsports axles, dual five lug, and Little Shop MFG rear disc brake conversion kit. The brains of the whole operation is gonna be ran by the Holley Terminator X-Max, and uh, that's gonna be able to let Ben tune and program this truck to get it running just right in the end. So that's just a starter list of what's gonna go into the truck. I think some things are probably gonna change as we go along, but that's what's already been done and sitting there and waiting to go into the truck right now. So as you can see, we could probably get this process going pretty quick, considering that the motor, the transmission, and the rear end are all done and ready to go into the truck. And I'm really looking forward uh, to Ben having this truck. I know he's wanted it for a really long time and he's worked hard for it. So it's gonna be really cool to see it come together and I can't wait to go for a rip in this thing when it's all said and done. So let's get into the video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna pull out the motor and get it ready for the new one. Uh, hope you like the series. Stay tuned for new videos coming on this series. And as always, stay tuned for more Delica and awesome adventure videos. And I hope you guys had a fantastic Easter weekend, whatever you got up to, and you're all safe, happy, and healthy. Until the next time, guys, take it easy. Cheers. bent this is his truck we're gonna do a turbo ls swap in it so guys this is step one i'm gonna do a, this is totally different than what i've ever done on this channel before this is gonna be a series like the ls swap series so this is video one today we're pulling this engine out so as you can see we've got the front off 
the bumper off, exhaust is gone, drive shaft is gone, everything's good to go. We're just getting the last few things uh, off the motor and then we're gonna pull this thing out. So we'll catch up after that, but pretty basic stuff. I cannot wait to get that big LS in here. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Lots of work to do though guys, so no time like the present. Let's get this V6 out of here. Okay, just try, do that again, I'll see if I can just jump over it. Or, here, I got another side. Holy crap, come on, baby. Hey, you cook my fucking bacon now, buddy, we're done. I'm gonna go underneath. Let's push it to the passenger side? Yeah. Just tell me when you want me to pull it. Holy fuck. Yeah, you got a big stand under there, bud. Don't look for you, don't look. It's okay. The reefer. Yeah, go. Let's go. Here we go. Woohoo. Yeah. Let me just try it. Tranny is still fucking attached. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, the engine is out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to power wash this whole bay here. We're going to get all cleaned up. But um, this is going along really good. Came out really nicely. Uh, Ben's going to go ahead and sell the V6 because it was a running truck when we got it. So pretty good stuff. And uh, yeah, go ahead and power wash the engine bay now. I don't like talking to camera in front of people. Like it's weird even that you're standing there. Even though I know you really well, like it's still super strange. So like if I'm out in public, like walking on a trail and someone's coming, I get weird weirded out. Yeah. A lot of people, but like it's weird stuff. Like, totally. this, who the fuck this guy think he is talking to himself on camera? Yeah. So Ben's a man of few words here. Oh, yeah. Man, you got big shoulders. So, that's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we're done. This part of the uh, LS truck swap build here, and that's pulling out the old motor, obviously. There's a ton of work to be done here. The nice thing is, is Ben has everything he needs to do this job. I can't be here all the time. We don't even live in the same town. So he's gonna film when he's doing things and then when I'm up here, we'll get together and we'll try and do what we can together. But I think it's just gonna be good documentation for Ben in the future to see all the hard work he put into this build. Cause it is gonna be a lot of work. Um, even just pulling that motor out was a lot of work. You know, you think it's gonna go one way and it always has hiccups and things like that. But it, it worked out well and it's sitting on the ground over there now. So the next step for this guy is gonna be the wire loom and figuring out what he's gonna do as far as wiring goes. So he'll do that on his own on the table in here. I'm sure he'll film it and send me the footage and uh, we'll get that in there. But that's a lot of work in itself. Like it's tedious, all that kind of work that adds up to tons of hours to get a project that is done. Um, and then I guess we're gonna sit the LS in here and then it comes fab time. So I'll come back up I think for whenever we get that motor in mm -hmm. and uh, transmission everything. And then it's just gonna be putting it together and then there's a whole bunch of stuff to come after that, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this series. I know it's a bit different than everything that you're used to on this channel, but it's fun for me to do, and I just like making videos. So we'll stick with this one till the very end, and by the end of summer, we should be two-stepping and doing rolling burnouts oh, yeah. and blowing rods through the yeah. bottom of the motor, all kinds of things, right? So anyways, guys, until next time, take it easy. Cheers.